what's up today I have an application review for you guys but before I get started I want to let you guys know that I know I do a lot of crazy hand movements during my videos and I guess it's just a natural habit I used to make fun of people for going like that and now I'm doing it um and I also know I say uh or um a lot so I'm gonna try not to say that at all in this video I doubt that's gonna happen though and I also talk really fast sometimes so I'm gonna try to slow down alright so Today, as I said, I have an application review, and this review is going to be on iStat System Monitoring, right there. I'll zoom it all for you guys. Okay, it's in the featured applications. It's just a few down from the top. Very nice icon there, so I'll click on it. There's a bunch of information on it. There, as a four-star average rating, pretty good. So I'll go back and I'll exit out into the application now. This is right over here. Very nice icon. It says iStat. So it starts up here and as you can see, I don't know if you can see it actually. I'm not sure why that's not appearing. Okay, right there it says my iPod. And if you guys have heard of iStat, here it is on my computer right now. Uh, there we go. It's basically a system monitoring application. Here you can see we have uh, just a bunch of percentage percentages and uh, just the heat of your fans, your hard drive, um, your hard drive space. And it does say your IP address and your Wi-Fi MAC address, so I just blanked that out as you can see up there in case someone gets hold of that but back down here okay so this application connects with your Mac iStat Pro so you can find the widget at Apple just go to the downloads here go down to widgets and then down here in the top 50 of iStat Nano I have iStat Pro but I couldn't find it so just search around you should be able to find it so back to that and back down here so I'll click on my iPad real quick and my Wi-Fi Mac address and IP address is showing so I'm just going to put a little piece of paper over it so here you have your all your activities you have inactive active wired and free memory and pages in 4220 pages out 32 and you can see the pie chart here with all your memory being used and this is a really cool feature you have free memory right here, which will free some memory space. Like if you have App Sniper, you know that sometimes there's not, you have a low memory condition. Well, basically you don't have enough memory available, so you need to free up some memory. What you can do by clicking that button, and now it says freeing memory with the little loading sign there. And there, I don't know if you could see that. I just did it before the video, so I didn't have much memory to free up. But basically, that pie chart will have more free or slash inactive memory. Down here you have 13.07 gigabytes free. I have a 16 gig iPad touch and I doubt I'll ever use half of it. Up, up time 1 hour 44 minutes. Load, not sure what all that is. There's your, your unique identifier and your Wi-Fi Mac address. And basically your, your, your unique identifier is how beta testers let you use their or if you want to beta test a application, you need to send that to the to the developer so it works for your iPod. And it's a pain to since you in iTunes you can't copy and paste words. It's a pain to type out all that in an email. So here you have the option to email ID, email the Mac address, or email bro both. So there's my unique identifier, which is a really nice app or feature. I will definitely be using that when I beta test more applications in the future. So that's all you have here. Now if I go back to servers, you see you have two little buttons here. This one's for ping. I'm not sure what it is. I'm kind of confused by it. I'm not sure what how what it works or how it works. So if you know, leave a comment down below. Right down there, I'll appreciate it. I have no clue what that is. I tried to find out last night, but I couldn't close there. Now here you have your tracer route. 
I'm not sure what that is either, so we're going to comment down below. I appreciate it. And over here you have information. It says, iStat service must be installed on computers that you wish to monitor. iStat server requires Mac OS X 10.4.11, which is Tiger or greater. Please note that you may need to set up port forwarding on your router to mon monitor systems over the Internet. Please refer to our online help for further information about iStat and iStat servers. So basically, you got to port forward in order to use this to monitor your computer. So if you're away from the house and you want to monitor your computer, you got to port forward. And I've tried port forwarding before, and it's really hard to do unless you have a Mac Air port, I believe. Here, if I go up here, I have the web page open, their support web page. You can go to bjango.com. I'm not sure how you pronounce their name. But you have help here, which is where that link would take you on my iPod. So you have iStat, get started, servers list. And here's, yeah, port forwarding. So I'll show you how to port forward. And it looks really easy with an Airport Express, but I have a regular Linksys router, so it was hard to do for me. I couldn't get it to work, but that's okay. Sorry, it's kind of bright. I forgot to turn on my brightness. So I'll lift it up here for you guys. So again, qu the question mark just brings up all your help, where you can get help. So I don't think I'll be monitoring that computer over there because it's just too hard to port forward. Maybe I'll try it again. I'll give it a shot. But over here, you also have settings. Good old settings button. And you have sections, display, temperature, ping, Mac Mini Colo. I'm not sure what Mac Mini Colo is, but... He any of you know again leave a comment down below so you can hook up your account with that your ping again I don't know it can say you can have the option to turn on pause when locked I guess it's on I'm not sure what it does and then your temperature for your iPod you can have it in Celsius Fahrenheit or Kelvin I'm not sure what Kelvin is I've never heard of that I have mine set to Fahrenheit display you can have resolve host names fetch disk icons and then here's your network stuff Go back, and then all your sections that you can have, I have all checked because I want all that information. So, is it worth the one ninety nine? Um, if you can port forward, I say I'd say it will be worth the one ninety nine. But if you're only gonna have this, I guess maybe if you're if you really want to know this stuff, but I'd say ninety nine cents would be a better price for this. Um, it should let you know that you have to port forward in the description on the application page. But oh well, it's worth it for me since I'm a beta tester and I like to use the unique identifier down there. So I'll go back to the servers. So it, it's up to you if you guys want to. I'm not going to say I definitely recommend this because some of you might not have a Mac. You just have an iPod. So if you like what you see, go ahead and go get it. But I'm not sure if it's worth it at $1.99, especially just for finding out the stats on your iPod Touch. But that's it, guys. Again, let me know if you guys want me to review any applications for you guys. I'm here for you, not myself. Um, if you guys ha know any developers and get me promotion codes, I'd uh, happily do a review on it or giveaways. So any ideas, even if it's not an application review, a case that maybe you guys recommend, send it over to me. You can hit me up with a PM. Just go to my channel over there. And go down and click send message or leave a comment down below. Uh, I'll be having a video on how to make a phone call on your iPod Touch pretty soon, maybe next video. But that's it, guys, and I want to thank you. I've had 400, I believe almost 500 views in three days on my how to send unlimited SMSs on the iPod Touch or iPhone. So thanks a lot for that, guys. I never expected I, I'd ever get that many views in one or two days. So thanks for that. You guys rock. Uh, once again, thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, so this application connects with your Mac iStat Pro. Bitch, before I get started here, it's you can find the widget at...